The schooner Jane McLeod, owned by Captain Dancy and sailed by Captain W.M. Robinson, went ashore about 16 miles from Perry Sound on November 14, 1890. Her cargo of hay and oats, which were shipped before the vessel went ashore. The cause of her beaching was the parting of a cable chain, which snapped off, allowing her to drift on a rock, although every effort was made by crowding on sail to head her into a place of safety. Captain Robinson and his crew ended up stranded on the island that is now named after the vessel. The captain and his crew had to camp on the island for five days until they were rescued. No blame attaches to the captain or crew for the loss of the vessel. She lies in about 18 to 25 feet of water to the west side of the island, just off Snug Harbor. The 123-foot hull lies flat on the sand and is very badly broken. Perry Sound and Georgian Bay are not only interesting for scuba diving the wrecks, but also for its beauty and geology. Perry Sound is the world's deepest freshwater port, located on the eastern shore of Georgian Bay. Georgian Bay is about 190 kilometers long by 80 kilometers wide. It covers nearly 15,000 square kilometers, making it 80% as large as Lake Ontario. Eastern Georgian Bay is part of the southern edge of the Canadian Shield. Granite bedrock exposed by the glaciers at the end of the last ice age about 11,000 years ago. The granite rock formations and windswept eastern white pine are characteristic of the islands and shoreline of Georgian Bay. There are tens of thousands of islands in Georgian Bay, collectively known as the 30,000 Islands, including Perry Island, and Manitoulin Island. Manitoulin Island is the world's largest island in a freshwater lake. Georgian Bay has been described as the sixth great lake. There are about 65 to 70 other wrecks in the Georgian Bay area. Besides the Jane McLeod, there are four others in the Perry Sound area. We also dove the SS Atlantic on this day, but unfortunately the video did not turn out. Diving this wreck was pretty easy, and the visibility was about 30 feet. The geology of the underwater landscape was also interesting to observe, as we swam around for about 45 minutes. Zebra mussels and round goby have really taken over the area, as invasive species tend to do. This seemed to be the only life in the area for this time of year. The large timbers from the vessel were very impressive, although it was hard to determine what pieces belonged to what section of the vessel. We enjoyed our day of diving this part of Georgian Bay with Tony, the owner of the Diver's Nook in Perry Sound, and also enjoyed the scenic views of the area while on our way to and from the wreck.